Greetings to the New Testament Writings in Context course here at LaGrange College. This is your instructor, Dr. Larry Asplund, coming to you at the very beginning of the fall semester 2019. You're enrolled in the online course, the online section of this course, which means you're connecting through Connect here at LaGrange College. And so it's my honor and my privilege to be able to kind of be your guide, to be your co-learner as we explore this a course together this coming uh, semester. First of all, let's review the course learning outcomes. In this course, students will, first of all, demonstrate creativity as they observe and formulate responses to early Christian tradition. Secondly, they will develop critical thinking about approaches to the earliest Christian tradition in its original context. Of course, for the us, that means the New Testament. Number three, to explore their own faith commitments in a complex global world. And, you know, this course is a core course at LaGrange College, and so this becomes a very important reason why you are taking the course. And then number four, to develop communication skills in undergraduate research, writing, and speaking. It's because it's an online course, you're not going to be doing any speaking, but of course you will be reflecting, studying, discussing, work together on these very important areas in our course. Uh, we have as our textbook, A Voyage to the New Testament by Catherine Corey. What a great textbook. I don't know if we're going to be able to access it beyond this coming a semester since it's going out of print, but all the students who have taken this book have found it very, very helpful. Uh, it's uh, a, you know, a thick book, so I'm not assigning every chapter in the book, but all the key important ones uh, if you've had trouble finding this book for uh, purchase, and some of you actually contacted me and said that you did not see it, uh, and the in the school bookstore, the registrar's office has assured me multiple times that it is available on eCampus. But if you had trouble uh, finding it, you can get you know even a used copy. For this te textbook, even an older edition is fine, and you can get a used copy at Amazon. So if you've not done so already, be sure to get a copy of Corey's text. And then, of course, you know, it's a course on New Testament writings. And so we will be having specific uh, books in the New Testament assigned for reading. Uh, and I know you are going to appreciate that. In both cases, when there is a textbook reading assignment or a New Testament reading assignment, be sure to click that link in Connect on our course site because it's a graded it's a graded assignment and so when you uh, click the link it will really bring up a survey that will enable you to identify how much of the reading you did for the week etc so how do we get started first of all be sure to download if you've not already done so the course syllabus it's at an exhaustive syllabus so it really has all of the information you will need to do well in this course and then when I made this course visible a week ago, I included a, a welcome letter, a welcome to New Testament writings and context in the instructor's announcement section of the introduction in our, in our course shell. That's where I will always be putting all of my special announcements for each lesson, both written announcements and video announcements. And so you, if you didn't get a chance yet to look at that beginning, you know, welcome, announcement, be sure to do so and catch up. And then also in the introduction section, look at the performance rubrics for reflection papers and discussion forums. They're performance rubrics in that they define expectations, but I won't use them to grade. They're not grading rubrics per se, but still very important. It gives you a sense of what I will be looking for in these assignments. And then once again, in the introduction section of the course, go down to the discussion forum called Water Cooler. It's just a place where you can interact with each other and begin by introducing yourself. It's very, very important for us to kind of connect as early as we can. You will discover that this course is a very dynamic, interactive learning community. And so for you to be able to get to know each other so that you can interact with each other and learn together going forward, will be very important. So drop by the water cooler, introduce yourself, and of course I'll be interacting with you. Let's get acquainted there as soon as we can. So course assignments, first of all, they're going to be uh, reading assignments. There will be reading assignments in both of the text from Corey as well as in the New Testament itself. 
And then there will be written assignments. There will be seven 500-word reflection essays assigned. I will always give you specific instructions as to what I am looking for. And then there will be discussions as well, seven discussion uh, topics that I will define for you. It will be my expectation that you will post your initial thoughtful ideas concerning the question for the week by as soon as possible in the weekend so that you have opportunities to interact with each other. I'm asking you to respond to the posts of at least two other students by the end of the week. For us, the study week is midnight, 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday nights. And so those are going to be very enjoyable. I know you're going to like it. And then there will be two exams, two open book take-home short answer essay exams one midterm and one at the end. They will be based on the textbook from Corey. And once again, I will provide you with exam documents so that you can literally take them home and work together. They're review opportunities, but very important for us in this class. The course structure is really quite simple, quite consistent. There will be seven two-week lessons, uh, and each one will have a very consistent pattern, a very consistent rhythm. So in each, in week one of the seven lessons, there will be readings in Corey and there will be a reflection essay assigned. And then in week two of the lesson, there will be readings in the New Testament beginning with lesson two and a discussion forum assigned. And that will happen regularly right through to the end of the class. And then there will be the two exams, one at the end of week four and one at, or rather at the end of lesson four and one at the end of lesson seven. The seven lessons you will see in the syllabus are number one, introduction to the New Testament writings. That's where we're beginning. Lesson two will be on the Gospels. Uh, lesson three on the book of Acts. Lesson four, letters associated with Paul, part one. You know, he wrote a lot. Uh, number five, lesson five, letters associated with Paul, part two. Lesson six, other letters, and then lesson seven, the book of Revelation. Don't get scared in advance. I know you're going to enjoy. In fact, it's not uncommon for students to say that was their favorite part of the class. So all seven will give us exposure to the New Testament writings in context. So let's, let's get started tonight. Lesson one is the introduction to the New Testament writings. Uh, it will take us two weeks from August 28th, which is today, through September the, the 10th. And so lesson one, week one, is where we're starting out. I'm assigning you chapters one and three in the text by Corey. And you will also have an essay assignment, a reflection essay, and it will be based on the, you know, your reflection on the first century context of the New Testament writings in comparison to our own time. I think it's great for us to be able to reflect and consider together how that might compare to our own context, what we can learn from it and so forth. And so that would be your lesson one, week one assignments, very easy. And then the lesson one, week two assignments will be uh, uh, readings in the text again by Corey, chapters four and five. We'll be able to start into the New Testament books themselves in lesson two. And then you will have a discussion forum in week two, which will give you the opportunity to discuss the connection between the early rise of Christian faith and the context of ancient Judaism. And you can reflect on what you think the most relevant uh, areas of that might be. And that's going to be a great discussion. So I'm looking forward to participating in it with you in uh, week two. So introduction to the New Testament is so important for us, no matter what your own faith journey has been, you know, it, the, these are foundational documents for us. And a lot of us grow up maybe reading the Bible, not necessarily systematically or in some kind of an order. You know, it's just been a part of our lives, but to be able to take the time to actually dig in and to consider for ourselves what it is that we have been reading or are going to read and how it might be relevant to our own faith journey is very, very important. So it's going to be a wonderful a week to begin with. I'm here to assist you, to serve you. I'm committed to you personally. I'm committed to your learning in this class, to your success as a student. 
And so don't hesitate to let me know how I can serve you as we go forward. It's just going to be a great week, everybody. Have a wonderful week one.